Here in our area, it's been another chilly morning so far. Yeah, a bit warmer than yesterday, but chance of showers, Larissa. Yes, we're tracking this cold front that's draped over the region, and that's what's responsible for the clouds that you have, that we have over the area on this Tuesday morning. It's gloomy out there, but it's still not raining for us, and in fact, this uh, system is going to continue to wash out as it inches closer and closer to our area. Currently, Lancaster reporting very very light showers, but everyone else is just dealing with clouds as this cold front again just continues to wash out as it hits our very dry atmosphere. So that's our forecast in a nutshell. I think today we're just going to keep those clouds around. A passing shower is possible, but this is not going to be a big deal for us. And I think the better location for showers will be south of Philadelphia. Otherwise, anticipate just cloudy skies on this Tuesday. And by the time three o'clock rolls in, we're going to be dealing with temps in the mid 40s by the time six o'clock comes in of course we lose the heating of the day and temperatures will be coming right back down eventually will bottom out in the 30s here's a look at future weather because the next best chance for widespread rain arrives on thursday so thursday is going to be the day to watch we'll be dealing with rain in the morning and this can slow down your morning commute this is 7 30 and you can see widespread rain and denoted by the darker shades of green it could be steady at times. We continue to move the clock forward and 1.30 shows scattered showers around. Pockets of heavy rain, certainly a possibility. And this will continue to be the case straight on through the evening. The rain finally begins to taper off from west to east. The Jersey Shore, you'll be the last to see drier conditions, but eventually we all do dry out just in time to enjoy our Friday. The weekend's trending dry, at least split down the middle, but more importantly for the playoffs on Saturday, we're dry. And if you're heading down to the link or maybe to your favorite local bar, we're just looking at clouds. It's going to be a bit blustery and temperatures will be in the 30s from the start of the game straight on through the fourth quarter. Seven day forecast shows again today cloudy with a chance of light showers. Temperatures climb to around 45 degrees. By tomorrow, clearing skies. It's going to be mild tomorrow, 53. We turn, we turn unsettled Thursday as a cold front draws near. This is what's going to generate the rain. Notice that behind that cold front, temperatures really don't budge. We stay nice and mild. There's not a lot of cold air behind the system. By Saturday, we drop into the 40s. It will be a bit blustery for the start of the weekend, but more importantly, dry. And then the next chance of rain arrives late in the day on Sunday. We'll continue with the chance of rain on Monday, but more importantly, a little tidbit for you. 41 is where we should be for this time of the year. And over the next seven days, these temperatures are trending above average with those numbers peaking here tomorrow, Wednesday, and then the one colder day aside from today will be the start of the weekend, but at least we're dry for now. All right, not too bad. Thank you, Larissa. Dr.